Yes, very nice song. And we get the singer in the house. Join me. Welcome, Bunny T. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so, I'm Bami Deep by the name. I'm gospel artist. Okay. I'm happy to be in this house. And we're very happy to say you actually come to share your journey with us. Now, um, watching that video, one question we just did in my head, we say, what did inspire you to enter inside the gospel space? Actually, since the day I've been redeemed, I've been enjoying the grace, you know, the grace of God. That's when that's the reason why I just come up. I said, God, I have to give thanks to you. That song is a song of thanks from me, from the depth of my heart, you know, to God. That's why if you can say, say, Prince of Peace, I cannot do without you. Because it's the Alpha and Omega. It's the one that gave me the peace. It's the one that I'm enjoying this peace. Now you say since the day you have been redeemed, and that night when you decide say you want to use music to spread the world. Now, let me talk about your story, where you come from, and what you they do before music. Just let people know you more. Well, mm, before now, I work with a company. Okay. Yeah, I decided that this is my destiny. Okay. You no, know, I have to hold it. I have to, you know, I have to stand by it. Because, you know, when you discover yourself, what you need is to follow it up. Mm. So I have to follow it up. You know, it's, it's, it's not about, you know, having money or, you know, get cash, you understand? Yeah. It's about fun, what you are enjoying, doing. It's, what, it's, it's who you are, you understand? You know, I think I enjoy singing praise unto the Lord. So that's why I want to go into it fully now. Fully now. Yeah. So how many years did they look at? Because now you say when you when they when you were redeemed. So how many years now you don't they inside the gospel industry? Yeah, if I if I should start counting, I think since two thousand and eight. Oh, two thousand and eight. That, that was um in church choir, you okay. know, singing together. With choir. We always start from there. Uh, you know, that is normal. You I have know. to start from there. I know. So, 2011, I, just, I look at it that let me step up. Okay. Then I step up. You know, I enter studio. You know, <laughs> begin to do my things, okay. my way. The Holy Spirit give it to me. Mm -hmm. You understand? No. And from there, we are climbing. Since when you decide to step up in 2011 until now, how many songs you don't drop? Yeah, actually, since then, I have about more than 10 tracks. Wow. Wow. 10 tracks now. Wow. But we are releasing them one after the other, one after the other. What did they inspire your message in any of your songs? What did they inspire? Actually, let me direct it to myself. Okay. You know, I'm inspired by the Holy Spirit. Okay. You understand? When you're inspired by the Holy Spirit, your song will surely be inspired. You understand? That's why you say that my song is full of more inspiration, vibes, good vibes. I'm talking about good vibes. Yeah. You understand? Good, you know, melody. You understand? That's why it's not, it's not even limited to only uh, it's a, a, a spiritual aspect of it. At least when you listen to the song, the song will, you will hear your soul, hear your mm -hmm. spirit. Okay. You understand? So you'll be able to get connected to God. You understand? From there, you get inspired. So from there, you achieve your day. <laughs> now, let's just um, make me use a practical example now. That's your um, song, Prince of Peace. Yeah. And what inspired the song? Um... I understand say the Holy Spirit inspire. Yeah. But apart from that, what did inspire you to say, okay, let me do this um, particular one? Is it that you were troubled and then you realize, say, um, there's peace somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I said earlier that since the day I've been redeemed, I've been enjoying yes. the grace. Yes. So now I look at it that, you know, I need to spread this gospel, let people know that Prince of Peace is out there for them. You understand? Okay. Because I'm enjoying the Prince of Peace. Mm -hmm. So my life is a case study for people to see that. You know, this is not what I was before. Okay. I was like nobody before. But, you know, Jesus, take Don't me take higher. Me. higher. Step up. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what inspired the song. So okay. that's why I talk, you know, if you, if you listen to the song, I say, one with God is majority. Mm. So somebody can look at you as a minority. But when you are with God, you are majority. Don't mm. look down on yourself. That's why I say, okay, let me come up with this. <laughs> and I believe that people will enjoy it. 
Now we get a lot of talented, trust me, talented artists in the gospel music industry. I just want to know how you don't manage to carve a niche for yourself in this industry for about eight years where you don't stay inside. Actually, uh, not really go fully in it. Okay. You understand? I'm still working with complaint. You understand? You know, you know this industry. You need to be more hard working to get it done. I agree. Yeah, yes. I understand. Mm -hmm. So you cannot say that, okay, you know how to sing, you want to sing, you just stand up one day and then start singing. Mm -hmm. I, I bet you no one will hear you. <laughs> but you don't come out with 10 songs, now 10 music, now you don't drop. 10 tracks. So how you don't, I, I just want to know, what thing go make your music different from every other gospel song we'll be the year out there? What thing yeah. you don't do to make your own different? Yeah, well, I realize that, I realize that these days, um, song, is not supposed to be limited to one area, you understand? Okay. That's when I come up with, normally I'm a, I, I'm a, I'm a somebody, someone that like hip hop, you understand? Oh, okay. You understand? So that's why you see uh, many of my tracks is more of pop. So and you infuse them inside? Uh, yeah, pop afro, you understand? Okay. You understand? So I look at it that pop is a song that's more attractive to uh, youth nowadays. Mm -hmm. So I believe that if I can do my song in, in pop way, you know, people will be more enjoy, you know, and more enjoy the music and more connected to the Holy Spirit. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, there's something about music. It's not about hearing song alone. It's about, you know, be connected. When you enjoy the vibes, you enjoy the melody, you, had, you enjoy the instrumental, then your spirit will be connected. Are you getting it? So that's why I look at it that, okay, if I want to do my music, let me do it this way. I want people to get connected to God. I want people to get connected to their curator. You understand? So that's why I look at it that, okay, let me do my music this way. And it's what I even love most. I like them. Even where you they talk, you should say you get passion for what you they do. Despite say you they work, you still get passion for music. Now, you get any plans to collaborate with any gospel artist? I don't dispute that. If, if there's a need, we do that. Okay, for now, you feel say no need? Um, actually, uh, I, have a, I have a band. Okay. I have backups, instrumentalists. Mm -hmm. So I got my backups, I use them. You know, they sing as a soloist. Okay. You understand? Now, looking so, at the artists in the gospel industry, which one of them they inspire you? Wow. <laughs> wow, wow. Well, if I would say, I've seen Nathaniel Bassey, you know, I love the guy. Eben, Frank Edward, and there's one new gospel artist coming up, Ada, you know, he's too good. And if you get opportunities to collaborate with one of those people where you don't mention, which one of them you go be? That's why I say you talk, say you get your own band. But if you get opportunity, say, ah, I want to join body with one person to release one confirmed music, which one of them you go actually want to um, join body with? Actually, actually, I cannot, be, normally I be, uh, the kind of song I do, okay. some of them that I mentioned, they do worship. I love worship, but I'm a praiser. You understand? Tim Goffrey in a praiser too. Tim Goffrey. In the fusing, some kind yeah, of pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. normally I would like to feature in my worship aspect okay. of music. Yeah, I can feature Nathaniel Bassey, it's my ogre. I do like this. Uh. Then praise, I feature, I can feature um, Tim Goffrey. You understand? I, that too I can feature because I love them all. You know, I look up to them. You understand? You know, not to be like them because I like to be myself. So it's be, I just want to be creative in anything I'm doing. You understand? Just for the glory of God. So if person want to listen to your music, how do they feel listening to it? Is it online? Is it available on Yeah, iTunes my music and the rest is of online. Them? Go to YouTube, um, iTunes, okay. Amazon. You no, know, just Google Bami Dave or Google the title of the song. You know, it will come out. You'll be able to download it. You understand? Or go to Google, just Google Bami Dave. Then it will come out. A lot of my tracks. Okay. We'll come out and you we'll download anyone you want, anyone you like. All right. Um, so, um, how best to follow you on top Instagram and the rest of them? Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram on official Bamidiv. 
And you can follow me on uh, Facebook, I am Bamidif. Mm -hmm. Then Instagram, Daily Links, follow me at Daily Links. So you get me there. Any information you need about me is right there. All right, thank you so much for your insight inside the house. And we wish you all the best thank in your you journey in the gospel music industry. Thank you very much. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.